What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was arranged a matchup against this um, this clan. I'm not 100% sure on the details, but I, I knew all they challenged Invicta to a, a matchup. A smaller war, 20 versus 20, and uh, I believe only 9.5s or very few 10s at least. Um, uh, yeah, so it was interesting war. We uh, took a little bit of juggling around to match the war weights, but it happened. And as you can see, Invicta was victorious, 54 to 44. Um, you know, Galatron did their best. We'll check it out. They used 40 of 40 attacks, gave it their best shot. Um, came a little bit short on the six star count. Um, definitely struggled uh, with some of the bases. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they uh, gave it their best effort. We'll check this out. They got a th um, three star on Ivan. Uh, Miss Bird Dog with, with a one star there. A lot of two stars in here, but like I said, smaller war, so um, struggled a little of the ways down. Ended up getting Nam Nug and Lalo on the bottom. Invicta, twos on their tens there, and I believe that was a 9.5 uh, three star as well. And then missed a couple four of the nines so um you know gave the best only 39 40 attacks not sure 100 percent sure what happened there um that usually doesn't happen uh but again 10 star victory so good job guys uh overall got some really nice attacks here it's really difficult to uh pick out the attacks i actually have six attacks i want to show and i had to cut some out that i really wanted to show but there's just too many uh so we're gonna check uh south fence hitting this 9.5 uh very interesting 9.5 you know no inferno towers level 28 uh 24 heroes so jump goes down just gonna do a little bit of a suicide hero um swap here right giant's gonna go in here start doing some tanking this queen is gonna get some attention and jump over uh this wall into this air defense and the king's gonna lock in any second now there goes the rage kind of take down that cannon in goes the king defensive queen is gonna go down in one second here so beautiful job lava loon comes out doesn't really matter at this point he kind of wants his queen and king to die now because he's just gonna go ahead and send in this quad lalo <clears throat> two lava hounds on that first air defense handful of balloons per each of these outer point defenses so looking very sexy at this point really just going to overwhelm this base hastes go all in a ring here um really really just sexy entry right lava hounds still all alive on this very last air or second last air defense i should say uh tesla start popping the core but those loons are under raids they're going to take down that expo and those teslas any second Boom, boom. Loon barely lives actually there. I didn't notice that. But a bunch of more loons on this other end. Lava Hounds start bursting. Handful of loons on these these outer point defenses on the bottom. Even another haste goes down to make sure that wizard tower goes down mighty quick. One archer tower remaining. Beautiful. Nice job, South Fence. Very sexy attack. Clean up. So much clean up. There's just pups everywhere. Uh, did he? I'm pretty sure every hound burst here. Yeah, it did. Nice job, South Fence. Well, the pups are unleashed, and it doesn't matter. Three stars. Beautiful. All right, I had five here. Caddick. My buddy Caddick. I don't know if you've checked out our base building series, but uh, I've been putting in some work on that. We're going to be doing episode three coming up right away. And I happen to notice his little mini Valk attack here. Uh, really liked it. Um, he's going to go ahead and just create his funnel. Nice wide funnel for those Valks. There's a couple golems that are doing some tanking. Queen goes down behind. <clears throat> just going to slowly kind of work everything in here. Wall breaker test goes in. The other ones go in. Open that up. Golems are going to reroute into that compartment. That queen starts doing some work. He's going to go ahead and send the king in. King's going to walk right in there. Valks are in behind. Holds a Valk in the bag. I didn't notice that at first, but um, they're getting in there. Everything wants to get in that queen, which jumped into that odd compartment. I don't think he was expecting that, but his queen steps up and takes care of her. No problem. Heel goes down for the Valks. Everything's kind of moving in now. That last Valk he deployed. He's going to go ahead and just start sending in his hogs at the 6 o'clock position. Giant goes in. Do some tanking. A few hogs in each of those defenses. Cleanup Wizard instantly goes down. Nice job with that, cat. I really like that. 
five more haas going in on this wizard tower another kind of random one in on this this nine o'clock archer tower might have been a misclick or he wanted to go in heels over top that tesla farm there so that's absolutely perfect queen still in there doing work uh still got a couple valks even as well makes um it hits a bomb there but it doesn't matter heel goes down everything's jumping right back on that heel those hogs are getting healed right back up he's got so many and really only the top section in this base to go clean up wizards archers everywhere this queen's working on a wall she's about to eventually will step up and help with the cleanup hogs are about to take down the last few defenses nice job caddick really like this attack turn on those skeletons beautiful few more defense, uh, trash buildings and that is your three star oh one more that is your three star nice job Caddick. uh what did i have oh just six right here king brett there's just some crazy good attacks here i i, I really liked a lot of these uh so Brett's just going to go ahead and do a kind of split kill squad. Sends in a giant, his king, a couple wizards to funnel with his jump spell. That queen's going to lock on in one second. Just wanted to buy his king just enough time. As you can see on the other side, he's already sent in a shattered entry, a bunch of wall breakers, wizards doing some funneling, queen's in there backing everything up. Golem, stick on those Teslas for one more second. They're going to walk right into all of this in here. King Swap has gone completely perfect. The defensive queen is down. His job is done. <clears throat> Looking good at this point. Lava Hound's going to come over to this queen. She's going to lock onto it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I think he sends in a few hogs here. Yeah, a few hogs rated on that Tesla. Uh, I like the read on that. Um, as that golem moves into range, it drops three hogs per Tesla. Great value there. It's just also going to continue to push that golem in. Queen's sitting there working on that Lava Hound. He kind of uh, wants her to die because he doesn't want that Lava Hound to burst. Now, there's nothing that can kill that Lava Hound at this point. Um, makes a little bit of bacon there, but got, it gets a good angle on his hogs. Really manages to conserve most of them. The expo goes down. Hogs kind of moving in now at each section of the base. A couple random hogs in on this 9 o'clock archer tower. Almost the same thing as Caddick. <laughs> but at least they get the archer tower. So that's actually the perfect amount of hogs for that just lone archer tower out there. One more heel goes down on this core. Hogs are going to take down the cannon. Wiz tower, no problem. He's already got cleanup Wiz doing a, hu a huge amount of work down on the high hit point buildings down there. Hogs got a couple defenses to go. Cannon goes down. Turn around. Beautiful. Nice job, Brett. That's is three. All right, couple more down. Peter, 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 pumpkin eater. Bring in the three stars for Invicta, per usual. Uh, I really like this read. Four healers, that's quite the investment, but goes in on this queen. Drops a wizard to kind of start helping move, the, take out these trash buildings, so the queen's going to lock onto the cannon. And once that funnel's sort of created there, she's going to, her eyes are going to see the, all this stuff here and move up. Uh, beautiful job on this queen walk, though. Just basically eliminates this whole, like, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock position. Ah, sorry, need a drink there. Um, goes in, sends a shattered entry down, uh, down about this five, five o'clock location. Starting to create his funnel. Apparently gets that army camp down. Uh, Wallbreakers go in. King's gonna go in behind all this. Really just wants to take out that queen. Uh, the wizard is going to end up locking onto that lava hound, but it's no big deal. King does a bit of a ping pong before he goes in on that queen, but it's fine. He's got two golems there. As you can see, Rage goes down at the top for that queen. She's literally just going to rip through this whole top section of this base. Absolute great value on that queen walk. And now that the defense queen's down, uh, he's going to send in handful of hogs just really on all these defenses. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Uh, heels got to go down very 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 compact base not a lot of room for anything like springs or anything like that so really doesn't have a lot to worry about as long as you get that expo down move everything in that heel he still has one more heel is going to go down over this core for those second set of teslas as you can see tesla's going down handful of defenses remaining that queen is still doing work up there Goes ahead and finally burns the rage on her. Takes out that archer tower. Still doing work. She's eventually going to kind of work her way still through all this trash. Because those hogs are going to catch up. They're under that heel. couple Teslas got to go down here. Expo's about to go down as well. 
Nice, nice job. So look at this queen still doing work. She started way over here at like the maybe 10 o'clock location right there and has now walked all the way around this base. This whole top section of base is her beautiful value on that queen walk. Cannon is the last defense remaining. Hogs turn on the skellies. He's only got like three, maybe four hogs to go. Finally, that Lava Hound is in range of that queen, but she just mops it up onto that healer. Boom, three stars. Nice attack, Peter. That was just sexy. Absolutely sexy. Uh, what else did I have here? 11, Burt's. I'm not sure one of Burt's attacks in a while. Um, I like the six Valks here. Uh, very heavy on the Valks. Shattered entry as well. Just goes in straight up here. Uh, Going to just create a funnel. Three wizards on each side. Queen goes down behind. Um, does not even bring wall breakers, but brings a double jump. So he's going to go ahead. Boom. There goes the jump. He's going to jump into this section and then jump, uh, jump over that clan castle. Really, if you look at these walls connects the whole inner side of that base the only things remaining are the outer cores um, which are perfect for hawks so poison's gonna go down take care of those cc troops valks are all in everything is all in a little scary with the valks on there under the dragon but queen raises it up she's gonna take out the def uh, cc troops boom all these defenses going down valks moving in defensive king is down defensive queen is down so things are looking pretty good. See that jump just open up the uh, entirety of this base. Uh, Golems are kind of lagging behind those Valks, but no big deal. They're going to super tanky, getting good value. Boom. Look at those defenses just drop. So Hogs go in now at this top 12 o'clock position. Like I said, literally a few Hogs sprinkling in on each defense. All those defenses going down at the same time. All the Hogs end up meeting up here. Boom. He's got one more heal they're all going to walk into. Still has a handful of Hogs. Going to reinforce and just push everything down in a circle. Really nothing much to stand up there. Once the hogs rip through that, they're just going to finish off the last 6 o'clock position here. Looking fantastic at this point, Bert. Look at all your troops remaining. Uh, clean up troops all over the base. Wiz goes up because he knows the hogs are going to end up down here. So this cleanup is taken care of. Plus his queen is there. So good placement on that wizard. Got a couple archers up there doing work. Last few defenses remain. Sexy attack, Bert. Awesome. Few more trash. Look at those archers going to town. Finally, get those single archers get those down, and that is your three star in the bag for Bert Dog. All right, one more to go, I think. Yeah, it was at eleven seventeen. Go down the map a little bit here. Like I said, it's only a twenty man war, so uh, warb. Ah. Warb with the chocolate style queen walk here brings a witch brings a cold-blooded one golem uh, goes ahead and creates a bit of a funnel off this army camp he really does not want his queen just rounding that corner up there she's going to kind of uh, move into this section take out these two defenses and start walking down to the nine o'clock location uh, so things going absolutely fantastic at this point Boom, Wizard Tower goes down, locking onto that cannon. Just going to kind of continue working down here. I really like the patience on that. So eventually, yes, uh, Cold Blood of Golem is going to go in here. He's going to drop a few Wizards to kind of cut off the funnel. There goes the Golem. It's already, I didn't even notice that in the first time I watched this, the uh, minion down there just kind of getting free, free buildings. Couple wizards, only three wizards go down. There go the wall breakers, opening everything up. Going to let that Golem in. He's going to drop a Witch, add that extra little bit of tanking, just that extra extra skeletons running around maybe triggering a bomb or whatever he's looking for out of it um really just needs to get that whiz tower down and then the skeletons are free to kind of run in here uh needs to get a bit of a push to get to that queen so poison's gonna go down take care of those cc troops uh, arch his arch queen's gonna walk up boom standing right look at her right on the edge of that rage just absolutely beautiful i really like the fact that the healers are all still in there doing healing as well finally the air defense lock on i think they one of them remains yeah, the Arch Queen's going to take down that air defense before it kills that healer. So looking really, really good. Defense Queen is down. That uh, Witch is still in there doing work. So boom, four hogs, four hogs, four hogs. And all three of those point events, they're all going to meet up in this location. He's got two heals. Here comes the first heal. Bam. Witch Tower is going down like butter. He's got 12 more hogs he's going to kind of send in and reinforce from the back end here. Four on that one, four on that one. Going to be four on this arch tower, or three on this arch tower. It loses a few to spring traps there, but no big deal. Another heal goes down. Everything, all these defenses is getting shredded. This queen is still there. He does have that lone Tesla to worry about up there, but look at all these hogs. Even though that bomb goes off, no big deal. They have slivers of health. Mortar's going to go down. 
run up to that Tesla that is targeting that Golem. No worries at all. This is definitely a three star in the bag. Warble, the chocolate queen walk. I love it. And three stars again in the bag. So Invecta brought the heater on this one. Um, again, would have liked to clean up the nines, but it was kind of a strange war with all nine point. I think they are nine point fives. Check this out. I didn't even really check it out. No, this guy's got Inferno Towers. My bad, but um, I should have looked into this war a little bit before I did the recap. <laughs> I just kind of watched all the replays and heard the heard the comments on uh, online and stuff. So, um, but uh, great war nonetheless. So victory for Invicta. Nice job, boys. Uh, Ten star victory. Got a lot of content coming up. I got a, a crazy war coming up next weekend for 2.0. Uh, me and Katic are getting together and doing episode three of the base building series. Um, really working on getting some more like live attack content for you guys. Um, so please, please, please just uh, sit tight. I'm working on that for you. I had a kind of episode. Um, uh, sort of idea called the sneak attack i had done an, uh done an episode of it already uh, in the past it's just a lot more time consuming than doing recaps and stuff like that so but please i'm working on it guys uh better stuff is coming um i really hope you're enjoying the base building series uh that that i hope uh, get gets people a lot of value because all those things are things i had no clue until they were like showing to me and talking to me and stuff so anyhow that should about do it i'm going to call it a night that uh that's your wisdom from wiser i'm just trying to help bag that next three starting until then i'm out